for the U.S. Senate and a Georgia congressman who's built his reputation by trying to rein in government spending. But it's how Representative Paul Brown is spending taxpayer money in his own office that got our attention. Channel 2's Justin Gray is live in Washington, D.C. And Justin, you found all this by digging through some government disbursements. Yeah, members of Congress have to report every dime their office spends. We noticed that Paul Brown paid more than $33,000 in taxpayer money to someone who advertises themselves as a campaign debate coach. Okay, we'll talk to you for just one minute, please, sir. Yes, that's Georgia Congressman Paul Brown shutting a door in my face. As for why, let's start at the beginning. We wanted to talk about how Brown, who's running for U.S. Senate, is spending your tax dollars. Specifically, monthly payments we discovered to a company called O'Donnell & Associates. O'Donnell & Associates advertises on its own website that it specializes in campaign communications and campaign debate prep. We looked deeper and discovered Brown has paid this self-described campaign consultant more than $33,000 from his office budget the past two years. That's taxpayer dollars. Kathy Kiley is with the Sunlight Foundation. If somebody is advertising themselves as a campaign consultant, what are they doing on the taxpayer's dime. That's what we wanted to ask Congressman Brown, but his office didn't return our calls or emails, so we went to hearing of a House Science Subcommittee Brown serves on, but he was a no-show. We finally tracked him down after a vote. Why are you spending office money on a debate? I'm sorry, I can Can we talk to you for just one minute, please, sir? Brown's office later sent us a statement identifying O'Donnell as a contract member of his staff saying, quote, he provides training with public speaking, on-camera interviews, and media appearances so that Dr. Brown can best communicate his legislative priorities, issues, and message with his constituents. These uh, lawmakers can raise plenty of money to, to fund their campaigns. They really don't need to ask the taxpayers to chip in as well. On his official disbursements, Brown identifies the O'Donnell & Associates funding as going to training. Live in Washington, Justin Gray, Channel 2 Action News. Justin, we're curious, so is the congressman violating any congressional rules? Well, in that statement he sent us, the congressman says he is not. He says they've checked this with congressional rules. But, you know, one thing to keep in mind, they have a lot of discretion here on how they spend money. He maintains this is not going to campaign activities, but instead going to regular office business. All right. Justin, reporting from Washington, D.C., thank you.